Here we have the current stock market update for Rigetti Computing Incorporated. Before we begin with today's stock market analysis, if you find these educational materials to be helpful, please remember to click the like and subscribe buttons. Leave your thoughts below in the comments section so that other traders can find this information more easily on the platform. So what we're looking at here is the four hour time frame. This is a completely sort of new price chart. We haven't really done anything to this section of the price history just yet. So what we will do first here is just sort of look at some general trends and try to get a sense of where the stock is most likely to head next. As you can see, what we've got here is a fairly clearly defined series of support and resistance levels. So specifically this area here comes in right near 1770. And then to the downside, uh, there's a bit of a resistance turn support level, which was seen uh, closer to here. A little bit difficult to uh, kind of draw this line in, a, in an exact way because what we're dealing with is a quantum computing stock and this is a highly volatile section of the market. So for the most part, this is how I would view this name, at least in terms of its recent price action. And then we can also do a couple of Fibonacci analysis studies here as well, because what we can see is that there's a fairly clear series of price trend waves that can be used uh, to also arrive at support and resistance zones. With the initial rallies here, what actually wound up happening, as you can see, was that the stock moved from roughly 10.30 per share into about 17.70, and then retraced roughly two thirds of that price move. So what you've got here really is a rough test of that 61.8% Fibonacci retracement area, which would have come into play right around 13.50. Now, if the stock had broken below here, that would have been a fairly significant warning signal because once you do break through the 618 retracement, the increased probability or possibility of a full retracement back to the prior support zone does become much more likely. However, as we can see here, what actually wound up happening was that the stock did form a bit of a double bottom support zone. So we've got one test here another test here and then share prices were ultimately able to break above this sideways trading range that had been in place uh, going back to roughly the middle of July that would really be all of this price action roughly in this area here and then as we can see that major breakout point starts to occur just as the stock is able to move above roughly 1750 uh, toward the middle of September. Now that the stock has managed to break above these resistance levels, things do become much more difficult for traders. You're sort of in uncharted territory here. Uh, that's not supposed to be a pun. It's literally true. What I'm saying is that there's really just not any price history out here. So when people start to make projections about things like this, for the most part, they're really just guessing. In our Discord trading room, we don't buy things that are rallying sharply like this. We do like to buy things that are cheap rather than expensive. It's really just like any other aspect of your life. If you go into a supermarket, you don't buy the most expensive items just because they're expensive. Or I don't know, maybe you do, but that sounds pretty idiotic to me. So in this case, I would at the very least, I mean, if you were forcing yourself to buy the stock or something along those lines, I would be I would be looking for a movement back into uh, roughly 1920, possibly, in order to look for another potential entry point. But anybody that is on this platform that's sort of generating hype right now and telling people to buy at the highs, saying things like, I'm buying every share I can, you should back up the truck, you should load up the boat. You can be very sure that those people are not successful traders. These people do not have strategies that work on a repeatable basis. Because if things do start to reverse lower, those are the first people that start to get washed out of their positions and see margin calls before they are completely stopped out. 